The British election campaign enters its final stretch and Britain will be voting on Thursday in a crucial general election that will determine if the country leaves the European Union next month or sets out a path to potentially reverse Brexit. Prime Minister Boris Johnson is targeting Labour seats in Northern England, which voted for Brexit. We speak to our correspondent in London, Holly Hudson, on the UK's crucial general election. So, Holly, what's at stake in the UK vote then? Well, that very much depends on who you listen to, sort of who you're backing in this race, really. Obviously, as you said, we're entering the last 72 hours here and all the leaders, all the candidates are out making their final push for votes, hammering home their messages. Boris Johnson targeting seats in the north held by Labour, but that voted for Brexit, where he's hoping he can consolidate that voter base with his much repeated message, a Conservative government will get Brexit done. They'll make all this go away and get back to the domestic issues that matter. What is at stake if it's a Labour government, they claim, is more dilly-dally, more paralysis, more of all of this. And will that seduce an electorate that is frustrated by Brexit? Of course, that is an unknown as yet, but Boris Johnson very much hoping that's the case, that he can penetrate what's known as the Red Wall. A number of seats across Wales and England where he'll be visiting today that he will say have been let down by Labour over Brexit. In retaliation, Labour are churning out their message that they have been throughout this campaign. They, of course, have tried to frame this election as anything but Brexit, that a Tory government comes with a price tag of putting uh, the NHS and living standards at risk. They have today offered a budget 100 days after the election on austerity, which they claim the Conservative government has put the country under. So Jeremy Corbyn hoping that that will close what's become a bit of a stubborn gap, really, in the polls between himself and Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson's maintained a sort of average of around 10 points uh, throughout these five weeks of campaigning. Another poll today putting him in a 14 point lead. But of course, there are still a lot of unknowns here, not least the fact that we can never guarantee the polls are always right. The last two elections produced shock results in 2015 and 17, suggesting what people say in the polls here doesn't necessarily correlate with what they tick at the ballot box. It's, of course, a Christmas election uh, for the, fir the first one in over 100 years. Will people turn out in the dark and in the cold? And there is also a campaign encouraging tactical voting to deprive Boris Johnson of his majority. So will that cut through as well? So while it seems like it's Boris Johnson's to lose at the moment, there's still all to play for. Well, if Mr. Johnson were to win, uh, what, what would change? So if Mr. Johnson were to get this majority, this all-important majority, 326 seats in the House of Commons, he says he was pushed through his oven-ready Brexit deal, maybe even before Christmas, but certainly before the current Brexit deadline of December the 31st. But in reality, while that will get Brexit done in one way, the withdrawal agreement, there is still the other matter of the future relationship with the EU. Now, this is what, what would happen uh, where, once the withdrawal agreement is passed, is that Britain would enter a transition period. And during that time, that's when uh, Boris Johnson and the UK government would be expected to negotiate a trade deal with the EU. No uh, small feat. And they would have to do that by December the 31st, 2020. Now, Conservatives have made it a manifesto pledge to hit that deadline. However, if you speak to experts here, they say that he would have to work at breakneck speed to uh, agree a trade deal in that time, that it is in many ways unrealistic to expect them to agree a deal, a trade deal with Britain's biggest trading partner with which the country is completely enmeshed. It took Canada almost seven years or more than to negotiate a similar deal and they are not in any way tied as closely. So this time next year we could see another broken promise and we could see even another extension to another Brexit deadline. If not, then we could see Britain leaving on World Trade Organization rules, which would essentially be no deal. All right. Well, there's also this talk of, you know, Brexit being reversed. And if that is to happen, how will it happen? Well, the only real way that Brexit could be reversed right now, of course, again, this is Brexit. Everything is still up in the air, still unknown. But the only real way that could happen is if the Liberal Democrats were to win the election. And that is highly unlikely at the moment, as they are the Remain supporting party. They want to revoke Article 50 completely, and they've made that a manifesto pledge. They've also tabled, uh, said today that they would table legislation uh, to revoke Article 50 and pave the way for a new EU referendum. Of course, Labour as well 
to offering a second referendum. Their uh, current Brexit policy is that they would renegotiate a deal in three months and then put that deal back to the people in a second referendum. And of course, if there is a hung parliament and Labour will be uh, forced to make a, or agree a coalition with another party, say the Scottish National Party, they may well have to appease uh, the SNP and it's not known yet as to what they might agree uh, in terms of a deal to uh, form a government with them. So there are still ways in which uh, Brexit could be reversed and uh, ways that a second, a second referendum could be agreed. But of course, we're also forgetting here that it's not just Britain that needs to make the decisions, it's the EU as well. They too would still have to agree to any new uh, path that was agreed or decided on here. And all will be revealed on Thursday when Britain goes to the vote. Thank you very much, Holly Hudson, on the UK elections final date.